Well, hey, everybody. So glad you could join me today. Okay, I'm going to show you um, how I create my um, doll drawings. This is one of the first steps. So I basically, I drew this with my computer, and I think I show you how to do that in uh, another video, and I use iDraw. And then I take my Copic markers, which are really the best markers in the whole wide world. And then I basically hand color the entire uh, image. And let's see. I love these Copic markers. It's like watercolor, but without the mess and having to wait for it to dry and everything. Um, so I'm starting with this step because this particular dolly, this particular little girl, I want, I'm going to have her uh, edited into or digitized for embroidery. And I'm probably going to use her as the basis for another design that I have uh, for some fabric. So I used the light brown for her skin tone. And I'm going to just get all of this done right here. And these Copic markers, I will tell you, they are about 6 7 or $8 a piece, depending on where you get them from. So they're mighty pricey. Um, I keep mine all hidden away from other markers in the house so no one uses them just to be using them. So let's see. We'll just get this done. Um, these are very beautiful colors. I love Copic markers, my favorite ones. So this is just to color her in. So she'll be real pretty. You know I love pink, so here goes. Lots of pink. And if you just take your time um, with this, you'll be very impressed with what you do. Now, I'll be the first one to admit that I can't draw my way out of a paper bag. So this particular image was the result of a whole lot of trial and error. So that's why it's pretty good. I used iDraw on my computer. And as soon as I can figure out how to videotape the sketch process in uh, on my iPad, I'll show you how to I'll share that with you on how to do that. So, so we're just gonna fill all this in, and that's starting to look really good. This is gonna look really good as a edited um, as a digitized embroidery. So here's one that I finished earlier, and. The only thing I didn't like about this one, I had some little images here. I don't know if you can see them. Some lines that went a little much, too much up into her tutu. Because when something gets digitized, you got to make sure you take out all the excess lines because the digitizers, you know, they're just going by the drawing that you give them. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'm sure you don't want to sit here all day watching me color. And um, we'll move on to step two and we'll see how this all turns out. Thanks for watching.